Hi everyone, Linda Israel here. I adjusted my camera earlier because I was filming some tutorials for y'all. I hope y'all like those. They'll come out uh, later this week. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Again, this is Linda Israel and this is my channel. We're on live on YouTube at 3.45 p.m. on July the 29th. Welcome and I'm so glad that you're here. Let's keep the chat upbeat and friendly and helpful. If you are needing some prayer requests or well wishes or good vibes sent your way, do check out the Friendly Junk Journal People Facebook group. We have an event called We Care where you can say, hey, I need some prayers or I need you to send me some good vibes or you want to share something going on in your life, you can do that there. We have lots of swaps. We have lots of tutorials that are posted there. And then you can also just share whatever you're making that is junk journal related and say, hey, what do you think? Or I've got a question, how do I fix this or make it better? So you can do that in the group. It's the largest junk journal group on Facebook. And if you join the group right now, we have a free digital download that you can get because we made it to 20,000 members. While you're here today, you earn junk bucks. And junk bucks, you can type bucks to check your total. When you get to 2,000 junk bucks, you can type award and you get a $10 off coupon to my shop. You earn junk bucks just for being at the live event. You get them when you make donations and you also get them whenever you play the in chat games. Those games cost you 10 junk bucks. You'll see a couple times as they go through. And you could win a bunch. You could not win anything. It just kind of depends upon what's going on in the algorithm that day. So it's a little bit like gambling. So hopefully you enjoy that. What else? Um, the donation goal for today to get the journals that I will give away at the end will be $40. I'll have three journals. I'll switch screens so you kind of see the idea of that. Your donations also get you a, let's see, discount in my shop. It gets you a ticket to the raffle at the end of this video. And you get the free digital downloads that I offer in my shop. And I did go ahead and I posted the digital downloads that were made from my um gelato pages last thursday this is one of the pages and it's been printed out oh thank you so much carrie ann for your donation and thank you sherry for your donation <clears throat> this was a bible page that i coated with clear gesso then i used some gelatos over the page and then i did a lot of rubber stamping and so i was asked to turn this into a digital download and i have done so so this is one of Four, these are two of four pages and then this is a page and this is a page and there's also a journal card that I moved and put somewhere else oh here it is I haven't cut them up yet and then I went ahead and took the journal card and scanned it in and made it two for a page it's about five by seven so that is a digital download that you can get in my shop right now uh, I think it's like $1.25 if you didn't donate. So if you donated, you get it for free. Let's see. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So glad you're here. Little sheep. Sorry, Carrie Ann, that your little sheep didn't come up. It didn't come up when I'm on my face thing. So I apologize for that. But thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, let's see here. I'm kind of scrolling up to see if there's anything. If you have any questions, please ask in all caps and I'll try to answer it. If I don't see it, I'm sorry. It goes pretty fast. Ask again. And then Robin may also say something to me as well. Robin is taking notes for me. So if there's something of importance that you want to say to me, you can do so in the chat. But it is better if you go to my website and use the contact me form so that I get a record of it. And I can usually reply to the email that I get. I've been having issues with people not getting their emails. So check your junk folder and I'm going to be talking to my web guy to find out there's something I can do on my end. So today we're going to be using the So Artsy Kit. I'm kind of looking at the chat to see if there's anything I need to look at. I don't see anything other than hi, hi, hi. <laughs> um, the So Artsy Kit is a 
collaboration with myself and Norella of Calico Collage and we decided to make it a sewing theme because I love to sew it's part of who I am and I love what Norella has done she has used some of my stencil designs and some of my mixed media pages to make the cover and she kind of did it what we call Frankenstein Franken page cover you know where it's all pieced together and sewn down so that's the cover of the journal that comes in the subscription box this is the inside of that cover it's another one of my stencil designs and then the pages here she put little sewing icons little lady sewing this one I don't know I think it's really super super cute and then here's the other pages as well so you get little scissors up there and the gal on the floor you know have you ever sat on the floor and pinned patterns to fabric I've done that a few times so that's what this looks like it comes bound with staples in the center mine is my prototype so I didn't have them bind it because I knew it was gonna take it apart so you just take it apart and you'll be able to use that we will at the end have a raffle for the journal that I'm making today and then I have two mini journals the tutorial will come out tomorrow that shows how I put this together but I'll flip through it really fast so you can see this is a three and a half by five inch little mini journal that comes let's see you get six pieces of paper in the journal kit and then I added some mop-up pages so that I could have more pages in the little mini journal and again there'll be a tutorial that'll come out tomorrow that shows you how I put this together but I wanted to flip through it really fast so you can see that hey Henry Henry's been busy so I'm glad that he was able to stop by for just a moment hello Nora I love calico collage yeah yeah yay yes many times pin to pattern and catch the carpet yes Carrie Ann that was always a problem I always tried to go on tile but it's also uncomfortable to sit on the tile <laughs> to do that yep yep <laughs> been there done that a few times now I just have tile in my house so I could sit on the floor if I wanted to not worry about pinning up my uh, carpet into it so I just thought I'd flip through this really fast oh you bought some more distress ink pads colors uh, one more oxide pad and your first oxide spray color what spray color spray okay gotcha ah thank you Chrissy hey I'm so glad you're here don't worry about being late we're glad you're here thank you so much for your donation I greatly appreciate it you can use the donation the super chat in YouTube YouTube takes 30% of that or you can use the Streamlabs. I did do a quick tutorial on how to do the Streamlabs. If you use my link, not go to just streamlabs.com, but if you use my link and uh, Robin will share that here in just a little bit and then just go in and you can send submit a payment there it should not ask you to create a fancy account or anything it doesn't cost any extra on your part okay all right we're all doing well we're, we're rocking and rolling here i also just did a tutorial that i'll post later this week for this journal page so i use some of my fabric stash you know we've got all these scraps of things in my stash that I sometimes don't use well I use this scrap of fabric and this scrap here use some of the fussy cut items that come in the so artsy kits and then this is some rubber stamps on this side I use some more fabric pieces and lace and this is a journal card and this is a scrap of fabric as well and then I made a little journaling card just kind of stamping around the edge and spraying it with tattered angels and we're gonna make some more here so let's get that going Alrighty, so, so, if you haven't entered the raffle, enter the raffle, exclamation point raffle, it's for some junk bucks, you'll get 200 junk bucks. I uh, watched a video really quickly from Pink Odd Bird, and she showed a different way to put page huggers into your journal. So, think of it as another way of, of a like an altered paper clip she took some paper and attached some fabric bits sewed all the way around if you do a straight stitch closer to the edge then you won't have it sticking off your page as much but I wanted the zigzag stitch and then I stamped cute as a button on the back side then I've got one of the fussy cut elements from the kit I'm gonna glue that down onto this piece of fabric I was going to make it like a little pocket. Maybe I'll make it where it's a 
a top loading little pocket if you want to put some tickets or something in it. We'll glue that down. And what's neat about this is if you take your page, it will slip right over and hug the page, if you will. Isn't that kind of cute how that's on there? Oh, thank you, Barb, for your do uh, donation. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So I thought that would be kind of cute to use on the page. And then I've got one of these corner pieces. So what we'll do first is let's do something to this Bible page. It's basically an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper. Oh, thank you, Barbara Oliver, for your donation. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It's just a Bible page that I ripped out of a Bible and went ahead and just kind of trimmed off the top. It's almost eight and a half by 11, but it's close enough. So what I'm gonna do is I've got the Sew Artsy Stencil. This is the stencil design that comes with the kit. I'm going to lay that in my spray box. And this is the So Artsy color. It's kind of a bluey, um, ocean blue, maybe almost a sky blue. <clears throat> Fabric Tack is, um, it stinks. <laughs> and it's wetter, I think. Um, I don't use Fabric Tack. I, I've got some, but I don't use it. And fabric glue, I mean, it's just designed to adhere to the fabric. I find that tacky glue works just fine on fabric. All right, so I'm gonna shake this up and then we're gonna spray the page. So it's kind of a pale blue. I like the color. And then I'm gonna grab, we've got some pink going on. I'm gonna grab a purple. So I've got the So Rockin' purple that comes with the add-on kit for $25.99. It's got six colors and I'm going to spray that just kind of randomly. I'm going to grab a piece of paper to mop up that spray. Laksu. And you know this can be a journal page. I'm going to go ahead and spray the back side so I'll have some glimmer on it and I'll set it aside to dry. But that's the pattern. Oh, thank you, Lori. Thank you, thank you, thank you for your donation. So that's what it looks like once it's mopped up. So I'm going to put that over here. I'm looking at this one. Oh, that looks really cool, doesn't it? I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to see if can I do that? I can. I'm going to kind of line it up on the other side just a little bit and I'm going to spray it. So we have that pattern on both sides. <clears throat> Thank you, Julie. Oh, that's not it. Uh, Elizabeth, if, if someone would tell Elizabeth to refresh or get out and come back in, she'll probably then have sound and video. Anytime you have issues like that, just go out and then come right back in. Thank you so much. You like that? That's kind of cool. All right. Yay. All right, so I've got some tattered angels on here. That's going to be a wet page, so I'm going to dry it just a little bit. Refresh. Thank you, Robin, for sharing the sewing-themed rubber stamps. I have quite a few new rubber stamps that I've added to the shop in uh, preparation for this kit. I will share the preliminary idea. We are going to go to quarterly on the subscription box in 2020. It will be a different box. It will be basically it will have more value to it. The price will go up because it will have more things in it. And I won't have to make those boxes as often. Trying to do them every two months is a lot of work. So I'm going to go to four times in 2020. Oh, it's okay, Christy. I'm so glad you're here, though. We're welcome, welcome, welcome. So glad you're here. <clears throat> All right, so there's our page somewhat decorated, and I think, I know I want to put this over here. We're going to use this guy, but I think I need something on that page, and I know that I have 
a belly band that I want to use maybe on the other side. And I've got some other little fussy cut items here. You're okay. Yay, refresh worked. Woohoo! Okay, so I think what I want to do is I know this is going to go on this corner here. And it can become a tuck spot. So it can have, you know, things put under it. And you can also put things under it on the other side. Just trying to decide how I want to do this. I found a piece of paper that I had in my stash. And I think it clashes. It's not what I wanted. So I'm going to look here. I've got some more that I made. I think I like this one. This is the green that comes in the kit. And we're repeating that same pattern. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to trim this to be just under five, maybe five and a quarter. So it'll have a little bit of a border and then I'll make it a little bit shorter. So it'll be eight and a quarter. I'm going to do that because I want to put it on the page and give me some more writing space. So I'm just kind of go down here. I'm going to cut a little bit off each end before I finish this up. So go like that. Okay. Hey, Carol. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So glad you're here. All right. I think this would look really cute on this page. Don't you? Isn't that going to be kind of cute? And then this will slide over it and then you'll have writing space here. So I'm going to add some distress ink to this piece of paper. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So who is a first timer here? Do we have any first timers in our chat today? Speak up. I saw earlier they were asking where everybody was from. You know, if you feel comfortable saying what city you major city you live in or state or country please feel free to do so and one more thing if you have a youtube channel feel free to say i have a youtube and tell us about what you do on your youtube ah oh, thank you barbara thank you thank you thank you all right i think that would look cute on this page that's going to slide over it and i think i want to stitch it so i'm going to leave that there for a moment i'm going to go ahead and glue it in place um you could make this a pocket if you want. I'm just going to go ahead and glue it all the way down. And I'm going to sew. So we're going to have sewing cam here in just a little bit. <clears throat> uh, it, Robin is a gypsy wanderer. I stay in no place for long. <laughs> hey, you know, what? I think it's awesome to be able to get out and about and change your perspective of where you live and who you talk to, what you do. All right, so that's going to go here. And I think what I'm going to do is we're going to put this on this side and we're going to have a belly band there. So I'm going to go ahead and trim this page down as well. Hey, Gabby, welcome, welcome, welcome. So glad to have you here. All right, so I'm going to trim this page down just a little bit. See if that's enough. Oh, good. Okay. Muscle Shoals, Alabama. That's an unusual name. Live in Illinois. Land old taxes. Yep. <laughs> All right. So, so I'm going to put that on this side. I'm going to go ahead and put this on this side. And I'm going to add some distress ink to it and glue it down. Calico Collage's home is in Ocean Springs, Mississippi. She says where it's humid. She's really close to the ocean, to a body of water. Hey, Norella, how long would it take you to get to the ocean from your place? Is it a quick drive? Is it something that you do? I'd like to live near the ocean. I haven't, haven't made the plans to do it yet. We we're talking about buying what we call a vacation home at some point that uh, we can travel to right now what we do is we just try to find hotels that we like that are dog friendly and we'll go spend a weekend somewhere okay so i've got this 
ready, I think what I'm going to do is go ahead and go to the sewing machine and we're going to sew around this piece. And because I back them to each other, when we sew, we'll have stitches on both sides. All right. It's humid everywhere right now this year. I agree. We have Lakeland, Florida. That's Kim. Jen's always is in Illinois. My mother grew up in Illinois. I see Minneapolis, Minnesota. I've been to Minneapolis, Minnesota. It's a long drive from Oklahoma. All right, let's go over to the sewing cam. Now, the sewing cam doesn't have dancing sheep. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> All right, so let me move my camera just a little so you can see my face. All right, so I have a standard sewing machine. I've got it on zigzag. I've got standard needle. I've got standard black thread. Oh, you can't even see that. <laughs> I have standard black thread in it. And I'm just going to zigzag stitch right around this edge here. <clears throat> All right, enter the raffle. Salt Lake City, Utah. Albany, Oregon. Oh yeah, the mosquitoes are huge everywhere. I have to say that um, workout pants are no deterrent for um, uh, mosquitoes. I have mosquito bites all down the sides of my derriere and my hips because I was sitting in a chair that had open sides on it and I had sprayed myself really quickly with mosquito deterrent and apparently my pants were so snug on my skin that the mosquitoes found me quite delicious. I probably have a hundred mosquito bites on my thighs. It's not fun at all. Lavender oil is good for itches. I've been putting lots of lavender oil on my thighs. <laughs> I see Danville, Virginia. Woo! Mays Landing, New Jersey. I've been to New Jersey. New Jersey. Dors or California transplant. Live in Jonesboro. Awesome. Oh my gosh, I saw a picture about the grasshopper invasion. It looked like it was a blizzard of snow, but it was grasshoppers. I'm like, wow, that's crazy. Crazy, I tell you. All right. Yeah, I'm a giant lavender plant. The bees might love her. Of course, though, I'm surprised they don't follow me around when I go outside. Philadelphia, awesome. I know it's Carol, terrible, Carol. It is terrible. I had no idea when it was happening. Paw Paw ointment is awesome for itchy bites. Well, the so far, the lavender oil has been working great. I just put a little bit in both hands, and then I'm just rubbing down my thighs. <laughs> hey, Rosetta. Welcome, welcome, welcome. All right, so here is... I'm going to fold it, what we did. So I've got this page and this page, and this is going to go over here. So I'm going to go ahead and glue it into place. Oh my goodness, grasshoppers ate her friend's garden in Texas. I've heard that they're pretty, pretty uh, oh, thick this year. Welcome, welcome, Rosita. So I'm just going to line this up on the corner so I get all of that pocket on there. Bag balm works good. Okay, that's a good to know. I think this I'm just going to put right in the center here. I like the little scissors on here. There's a plant called jewel weed, and the sap is amazing for mosquito bites. Interesting. Well, I hope next year, I didn't get to do it this year because we were a little tight on funds, but I hope next year that I can find some lemongrass, and I need to plant some uh, marigolds, and there's some other things. I'm going to try to buy some seeds late winter and start them uh, inside so that they're ready to go. I like that. I like that. This is going to go over here. Kind of get it on there. Okay. 
and there's kind of a little pocket here. We've got this part here. I thought this would be kind of cute. I um, This is one of the bags that I offer in my shop. The next raffle, I'll give away a set of these, but they're just a cute little damask bag. And I took a couple of pieces of fabric just for fun. Who knows, whoever gets this journal, they might want to use it for something, but I thought it would look kind of cute if it was sticking out of that little pocket. So maybe, you know, if you're thinking about making this journal as a gift for somebody, um, maybe grandma passed away and you have some of her blouses, you could cut up that fabric and put it in here and maybe write a little note or even take a piece of paper. I'm gonna grab one. Maybe take a little piece of paper and put on the front, say a little story. These were uh, pieces of grandma's shirts that she was known to wear often or something like that. I think that would be kind of cute to put on there. We've got a spot here, so let's see what we've got. That can be tucked under there, so you have the sewing machine, sewing machine, sewing machine. <laughs> it's all sewing machine! You like the fab bag and fabric idea? Thank you, Christy! Which is the way no to I okay wait which is the way to stick the needle with glue Linda I am oh so are you saying when you are sewing I let the sew the glue dry before I sew I I'm not positive what you meant Gabby ask again okay rephrase that because I didn't quite understand what you were asking okay all right so this will be this side I think. I've got, this says cute as a button, and I think we're going to stamp that right here. So let me find my little, my little stamp block. Let's see if I can get it somewhat straight. Oh, Polly. Hey, Polly. I need you to message me because I have a prize for you, and I don't know who you are. So I haven't been able to connect you. So if you could send me, um... Uh, seedlings will be better. Okay, thanks, Julie. That's a good idea. I need you to message me on my website with your um, username from YouTube and your email address as well as your mailing address so I can send you your prize, Polly. Yes, Norella, that would be perfect. Little handmade doilies would be perfect. Yeah, I let the glue dry before I sew, or I only put glue in just a little bit. So if I'm sewing here, I'll put the glue inside, because I know I'm going to attach this page down, and I know that the glue won't interfere with my, my needle if I do that. So I put cute as a button. You see that? It's crooked, but it's all right. It's handmade. So I'm going to slip this over here. This will go underneath there, and you'll kind of see that cute as a button there. Okay, thank you, Polly. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Send me a message so I know who you are. <laughs> and what I'm doing this time is a little bit differently than I do some of my journals. I'm trying to make sure that I use the fussy cut ele elements and not uh, decorate my pages too much so that I can't use them. So I'm going to put that right there. I think that'll be cute. This is kind of a tuck spot here. So let me grab. This is some of my mixed media prints that Norella made. And I like the color of that. So I think that would be good. And we've got room down here to stamp. So let's find a fun stamp. Mm -hmm. Oh, is that too? Oh, yeah. Let's put the scissors right there. How's that? Scissors! Okay, thank you, Polly. Okay, good. I'm See, I wasn't sure what your last name was, and every time I did a search, I couldn't figure it out, Polly. So, yeah, send me a message saying, I get your stencil club, and then I can send you your prize. So, thank you. All right. You're welcome, Gabby. Okay. Try painting. Print. So when you say printing your real doilies, what do you mean, Julie? Are you talking about um, using it as a stencil, if you will, or applying paint? 
maybe using it on your gel press you could do that i've seen some people put them on their scanners and scan them copy them oh i like the scissors across there thank you christy i i love the way that norella used my photographs of my flowers some of my gel prints mixed media pages and then her beautiful graphic work and it says why fit in when you were born to stand out and i think that would be cute on that page so there is another page made so we've got this page we've got the three pages that come with the journal so i'm kind of that's five pages right there i've got the printed pages so there's two more so that's seven and seven eight nine ten so i want three more pages i think to use in the journal okay oh yes yeah, sc scanned and printed on colored paper that's awesome robin hello for the love of paper and ink that's candia right <laughs> thank you kathy okay so i've got some mop-up pages so let's look at these mop-up pages and see how we can decorate them see if there's some that we like better than others like this was a mop-up page i made the other day i had journal cards i think we could stamp inside there i think that might look kind of cool so let's use that one that's a repeat of the same i like the arrows the arrows is kind of cool so there's another and let's use this page because it's kind of has these little areas on there and I'll just save these for the next journal that I'll be making next Monday all right so we've got this so here's what I do I've got the shabby stitches rubber stamp and I think that might like kind of look kind of cool around don't you think and what else could we do I've got the other stitches stamp so I'm going to do those I'm going to do this one that's kind of multiple zigzag stitches across okay oh time for the raffle have you entered the raffle thank you kathy i've entered the raffle and i'm going to draw i'm going to stamp and then we'll draw i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to let this kind of go off the page if you will grab me a, be centered but let it go off the page you love the shabby stitches they're a lot of fun i forget to get out the other designs i like this one design so i use it the most what do you think that's kind of cool i'm gonna rotate it enter the raffle isn't that cute i love it it just dresses up that page that quick all righty center do 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 is everybody enter the raffle enter the raffle center okay so there is the shabby stitches i'm gonna go ahead oh we haven't sprayed the backside, so let's do that i'm gonna spray it with a another color the color that comes in the box that blue so it shouldn't go through to the other side very much because it's such a pale color and while i'm at it i've got some journal cards here i'm gonna grab two one two and i'm gonna lay these in here they're a little bit bigger than five by seven Oh, it's too big. Well, all right. I'll just do it this way. Sometimes it doesn't work. But you get a cool pattern. I kind of like that. Just kind of mopping up. Oh, cool. It kind of bled through a little bit, but not a whole lot. But it adds just a little bit more texture and dimension. Squirrel! Okay, are we ready for the raffle? I think I gave everybody a chance to join. All right, giveaway. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Who's going to get 200 junk bucks? And I have to remember to give them to you later. 
when I get off the live stream, I walk away from my computer, I go outside, I go somewhere other than work so that I can let my brain reset. So sometimes I don't get back to it right away. All right, pick a winner. Christy Clover, congratulations. I'll award your 200 junk bucks a little bit later. <laughs> if you're close to getting your coupon code, just say, give me my bucks. And I'll go in, I'll give them to you. All right, so for the next giveaway, I've got a set of five of these little bags that I sell in my shop. They're little damask bags. And we're going to do that as the next prize. So reset and okay. And we're going to do a damask bags. So here's your chance, Christy, to win some of these bags. All right, let's put this over here. All right, so here's our page. I'm gonna go ahead and fold it in half just so I know what I'm working with here. Okay, that's kind of cute. I've got some scraps of fabric here. Let's look at these. They're all a little bit different. Oh wait, this pink's kind of cute. I wonder if I cut this in half. Scissors. Congratulations, Christy. All right, so I got those pieces. And I'm going to fold it in half. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue it in place only because I want to uh, make sure it doesn't move around on me before I get done. <laughs> so if I put that there... Where's the center? Okay. I think right about there. And I'll fold this over and it'll stick out just a little bit. Okay? If you don't have a sewing machine, you can glue that just like I did. Okay? Okay, I'm going to go over here, about, about that far, fold it in, fold it in, kind of glue it to itself. All right, this is starting to look pretty cute. Let's see what else we can put on here. Let's look at our fussy cut items. And I made this altered paper clip. I've got a tutorial that shows the concept of it. I think that kind of just goes together on that page. So it should go there. And I got this little tuck spot we could put on the other side. So what if we did this? We put this one down here on the bottom. And it can become a tuck spot, and then this is going to be an altered paper clip. So let's flip this over. I'm going to take these off. I know I'm going to use them, so I'm just going to set it aside so it's out of the way. And let's do some decoration on this side of the page. I think that might end up on the page. And then let's put something over here to kind of give us a, a writing space, if you will. And I think I'm going to do that with, I'm going to use the scissors and stamp that just above. So right about there. Yeah. And then let's use the other shabby stitches. And I'm going to stamp it across the top of the page and across the bottom of the page. You like the scissors with the thread? Isn't that cool? And then let's go up the page. I don't know. I think, I think that's kind of cute to decorate a page like that. So this will go here. You've got a little writing space there. So let's put a little rubber stamp up here in the corner. I saw... Oh, let's see this one. This is a little shoe. I need to figure out what happened to all my blocks. They disappear. Oh, thank you, Jen, for your donation. Thank you, thank you, thank you. 
I think we're getting pretty close to our raffle total. Let's stamp this little shoe up here. Oh, cute, cute, cute. And then I think we need the word journal stamped on the page. Because it is a journal, right? This is the journal quartet. So you get three diff four different uh, journal words. I think I'll put it down here in the corner. Like that. Okay. So we're going to glue this down so it'll be a tuck spot at the bottom. If you want a chance to win the journal that I'm making today and or the... Uh, the little mini journals that I made already. You just need to make a donation, any dollar amount, to get entered. I like it. I'm almost wondering if I should put some more shabby stitches. I could, you know, you could spend hours on one page, and that's okay if you do that. That's a, your prerogative. We'll do that. I'm just adding a little bit of stitches. I think that looks kind of cute. How's that? And then when the page is folded, that's what you'll see. Super cute! Yeah, the, the shabby stitches, Gabby. Shabby stitches. Okay, I'm looking in the journal cards to see what else we've got here. Oh yeah, so this is, we'll use that on the other side, okay. I feel like I'm missing some pit, bits of paper, but maybe not. This is a little envelope. Do we want the yellow? Maybe that pink one. These are some more of my photo cards. I just thought I would use them. Ah, oh, thank you for the love of paper and ink. <laughs> thank you, Candia. Thank you. Okay, we're going to use this one. I think that'll look good. All right, then we're going to flip this over, and this is going to go here, okay, and we can put another journal card, and then we're going to put the scissors on this side. I changed my mind which side I want to put it on. I'm going to put that right here. And let's dig through here. Let's see if there's anything. I think that would be kind of cute to put on that page. Just as a little design element. You know, you could layer up uh, fabric scraps if you want. You know, if you like a piece of fabric that you want to put on there. I'm going to try it. I'm going to see what happens. If I lay this like that, and then lay this on top of it. That's kind of neat, I hope. And then I took the button card that comes in the kit, and I hand sewed on a few buttons. And Norella, are you still here, Norella? If you are, share a link to your button card. She has a ton of button card designs. You're welcome, because I told her to make them. But uh, this is one that goes in the kit, and I thought it was pretty cute. I kind of use uh, some bronzy brown buttons, just so that they're different. And I think that'll look cute right there. All right, so I'm going to fold my page. So there's this page. I don't want to stick it all the way down in there and have it fall apart. Okay. So that page is decorated. Let's pick up some more pages here. I made these earlier, so I'm going to cut them in half so I can have them to tuck into spots. So they are 8 inches, so we're going to make them 4 inches by whatever the height is. Hey Margie! Welcome, welcome, welcome! Oh no, you burnt your toast! Oh yeah, there's the button cards that Norella just shared. Welcome Margie! So glad to have you here. 
All right, so I'm just adding some distress inks to that page that I sprayed earlier, or the journal cards I sprayed earlier. Okay, we've already made a couple of pages here really quick. So let's see here. I think I changed my mind. I want to do something with these journal cards on the back sides of these. So I'm going to move that over. Ah, oh, here we go. Here's something I need to use. So here's what I did. I took a book page. I had some fabric that was already sewn together. And I just sewed them together. And that's going to become a pocket on my journal page. But before I do that, I'm just kind of picking out the things I want to use. I want to go ahead and decorate the other side because I plan to stamp and I don't want to uh, mess up my rubber stamping because it's bumpy. And I'm just going to go ahead and get out some more of these elements so it's not in my Ziploc bag anymore. That's how I do my journal kits. I go ahead and fussy cut everything out and I'll put it in a Ziploc bag so I know where it's at and be able to work on it. Bye, Norella. Have a great dinner. You know, you should teach them to cook. <laughs> All right, so I've got these pieces. Cut that piece. This was, again, the So Artsy kit. All right, so we've got little pieces here. I know I'm going to use that. I think I'm going to go ahead and let's stamp on here, but let's use the, let's use the distressed edges, distressed, or no, textured edges. I always say distressed and it's textured, textured edges. So we're just going to, ah, I can't get it to stick on my block. There we go. All right, so I'm going to start at the bottom here and kind of stamp it to it's going towards the inside. And then I'm going to stamp down the side. And I'm going to put a piece of paper up here at the end because I don't want to stamp on top of the Tattered Angels pattern and stamp that. So that's how you kind of get it to continue on. Nobody move! All right, Robin. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Stamp it, and then stamp it again, and then I'll stamp the top. There we go. I like it. It kind of gives it a whole different look, right? Good. All right, so then this stamp. Okay, that. Stamp away, stamp away, stamp away. That one was crooked. It was just a little bit crooked, but it's all right. Okay. I like it. Do you like it? It's kind of fun. All right, so then my camera. Okay. Let's put... All right, let's fold this page in half. Because I don't want to put it on there and it's too far over. All right, so let's put maybe that in the corner. And maybe that one. Yeah, that'll be cute. Okay. Oh, you moved. Okay, well, I hope you like your new place. so much Christy thank you thank you thank you that's really kind of you to say so I just love doing what I'm doing it's it's just fun I love sharing with y'all and and if you can support me financially whether it be placing an order or donations or at least you know sharing my tutorials with others I greatly appreciate it I think they'll be cute right there You're back. You feel better now, Robin? <laughs> I have both dogs today. They're in the living room. 
consoling each other, I guess, because I didn't go anywhere today and take them with me, and Henry didn't take Oreo with him. I like it. All right, I think we need, um, I need another page tab. So I've got some more fabric here. I don't want to keep using the same, but it's what's laying here. So we're going to cut this one in half. Okay. Nice to be missed. <clears throat> okay, I was just making sure if, if you actually moved, Margie. <laughs> All right, so I'm just taking this piece of fabric and folding it in half. And I think what I'm going to do is we're going to glue it and then I'll sew it. And I forgot to sew that other one, didn't I? I'm going to put that by the sewing machine so I'll sew it. I'm going to glue and then sew. Glue and then sew. So, okay, that should be on there. Okay, so we did that side. Oh, I didn't put enough glue on this one. Just a little bit. Okay. We have a blank page. What shall we do? <laughs> All right, so I've got my towel fell on the floor. When your towel hit the floor. That's not the same as when the the bodies hit the floor, right? Oh yeah, I've got this. I gotta remember to use that. I've got there's another altered paper clip. So we decorated that side. I think that would be kind of cute, right? And then we were going to use this as a pocket on this side, right? And I'm gonna set this little envelope. We're going to put that right here. I'm not going to put anything in it, but it's there. Okay. So those are going to go together. This is over here. This is a pocket within the pocket. So we need to put something in that little pocket, right? Let's make a little journal card. I've got a, a little artist trading card size. And one stitch at a time. Okay, so let's... Let's sew around this, and I'm going to use some Distress Ink first. And let me grab a piece of fabric. Maybe that's what we'll do, is if I stitch this on there, and then put that on the corner. That would be kind of cute. So I'm going to just go to the sewing machine. Sewing machine! Oh. Yeah, we've drawn the first one, Julie. Uh, Christy won. Christy, I forgot her. Uh, uh, I can't say the name. Uh, sewing cam! <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and sew here this little piece, so it's attached. I don't want to lose my pieces, so I'm going to take them out. Take this one out. Okay. I don't do a back stitch when I'm sewing on paper. I just sew. I like the thread sticking out too. I'm going to go ahead. Uh, not that, Christy. <laughs> All right. I'm going to go ahead and sew these pieces in place. Okay. 
And then we're going to sew this piece on. It's just a scrap. Turned out kind of cute. Lucy Clover. Yeah, Clover. Yeah, I, I couldn't say her name for some reason. Okay, so we got this one. This is our page we were working on. Let me put this page back together. So this went here. All right, now, cooperate. This was over here. We had a journal card. And then this one was over here. All right, so now we've got that sewn. Okay. Now we've got this page, and we've got this journal card. I'm going to put one stitch at a time. I'm just going to glue it up there. Robin has to send all of you a postcard. <laughs> uh, we missed Robin. All right. So that's kind of cute. And this is going to go here. Okay. That's going to go on the other side. I haven't decided what I want to put over here yet, but I know that's going to go in here. So let's glue this piece down. Oh, yeah, you're going to visit your son in Washington in uh, September. That'll be awesome. I hope you enjoy that. I get to go on a cruise this year. Henry got an amazing offer from Carnival Cruise Lines. And for our joint birthdays, his birthday is in July. Mine is in August. We both turned 50 this year. He went ahead and splurged and purchased a cruise for the two of us in September, the end of September. I'm looking forward to it. Some time to get away. End of August. Okay, I can't remember if it was August or if it was uh, September. I like it. Okay, I know we're going to use some of this, so maybe we'll stamp on it. Oh, I know what I want to use. Where's that stamp? I've got a little saying here. So by the end of the stream, I'll have a ton of um, stamps on my desk. <laughs> yeah, she's so Robin's gonna have to send out postcards. It's gonna take her a month just to get them addressed. Maybe if we had uh, labels, right? <laughs> Thank you, Giovanna. I love Carnival Cruise too. They we've been uh, going on Carnival Cruise since. 1993 that was our first cruise we were considered platinum or vip oh there we go friendship is the golden thread that ties the hearts to the war of the world okay i like it all right what can we stamp oh let's stamp the sewing machine let's stamp the sewing machine down here um this time yeah, I'm, thank you, Tina. You're so sweet. Um, we're going to go through Galveston, Texas. It's about a, what is it? Is it seven hour drive? And it may be seven, it may be less, but it's about seven hours from our home. So we like to drive because the airfare is so expensive because your luggage and it's just not fun. <laughs> oh yeah, I like the sewing machine there. So we're going to uh, drive down to Galveston. We're going to go two places, Cozumel and Progresso. Um, I don't really care about going to Progresso. It's just where we're going. All right, I think... Do I want to do that? If I put this guy on the page, and this is under it but we'll put the dress form okay let's put the dress form down here yeah let's do that this is a chipboard dress form that you get in the kit and i'm going to use it on the journal page let's make it um let's make it a tealy kind of color so it kind of match that so what i'm going to do first is i've got some distress oxide 
I'm going to go ahead and... You like the sewing machine stamp? It's fun, right, isn't it? That's uh, Safina, right? Where is it? I've never heard of... Yeah, Progresso, they make soup. I I, I think it's, it's part of the Yucatan. I'm not sure. I may not even get off the ship there. I'm just all about getting some time away. So I'm just padding on there. Oh, that's kind of cool how that came out. I keep adding color to it. All right, so then let's put this, um, well, we're right here, so we'll just do it. I'm going to take the artsy patina and spray it. Oh, sp swimming with the dolphins is on your bucket list. That's awesome. I've done it. It's amazing. We did that in Cozumel back in 2008 when we took our Ford Exchange student with us on a cruise. And she loved it. I loved it. I had a blast. I've got pictures of it. So I'm just taking the artsy patina and I'm going to spray that on top. Ooh, I like the way it reacts. And it's going to add shimmer to it as well. I tried to put this where I put my glue. I'm going to dry this. You're afraid to go on a boat? You know, Barbara, those ships are so big. It's like a floating hotel. It's so much fun. It's so easy. I really enjoy it. You're very welcome, Chrissy. Congratulations. Um, I really enjoy the cruises. There's something for you to do or not do. If you don't want to do anything, you don't have to do anything. If you want to go do all the things that are free or available on the ship, you can do them. It's your vacation. That's what I love about cruising and the opportunity. I like that teal. So let's see how this looks now when we glue that onto the page. What do you think? Is that kind of cute? You like it for the silhouette? You get one in the kit. And I think if y'all want extras of these, I'll put a listing in my shop. And you can just let me know um, that you want extra. If you want it added to your order, I can bill you. Or if it's before your renewal, I can just add it on. How many y'all want in a set? Like five? Would five be enough if you got one in the kit and you got five extra chipboards? I could probably do that for like five dollars dollar a piece that may be kind of high but y'all get your coupons and discounts it would be cheaper <laughs> you're scared of deep water you know barbara i've never had a problem only once on a cruise did we have an experience that was interesting our ship saw some refugees from um I think it was Honduras, but I'm not positive. They were on a, a raft, a, a blow-up raft in the middle of the ocean. And we saw them, us and another carnival ship, and they communicated. And we turned around. We turned so quickly that we were on the uh, pool deck that we're level, right? And you looked out the left window, and it was all the way up, and all you saw was sky. If you looked out the right window, all you saw was water. That's how far up on the ninth deck of the ship we turned and then we leveled out. We stopped. We picked them up and then we turned and went on our way. <laughs> that was the weirdest thing we've had. And that was an old ship. The new ships, they don't rock. It's really nice. Oh, well, early birthday. Happy wishes to you, Julie. <laughs> You know what, way, Sherry? I love them. It's a lot of fun. Once you go and you understand what the deal is, you'll enjoy it. Okay, so this Alter Paperclip has a little charm. I always forget to show y'all to use the little charms and stuff. Someone pointed that out to me Saturday, the fibers. So I'm trying to do uh, some of that stuff up front, either in videos or before I get on to the live stream. I like it. Isn't that cute? It's so cute. <laughs> I know, I'm stuck on myself. All right, so I need to put a journal card in this pocket. So I've got this little guy. Let's stamp it. Stamp it. I think I, I like the scissors for some reason. So I'm going to do that right down this side so you'll kind of see it coming out of that pocket. 
and let's grab let's do the shabby stitches to kind of add a little more sewing charm like that that's kind of cute isn't it and I think my pocket should be dry that I can put it there all right how are we doing on time It is a chunkier page than I normally do. I know. I don't usually do it because my style is I would, if I'm going to write in my journal, I would take everything out of it if it was bulky like this. Because if I'm writing on this page trying to deal with that, it would really make me mad. <laughs> but I know y'all like it. So I'm one of those that would add this stuff after I'm done journaling in it. And I need to remember that y'all need to see it ahead of time. But I like it. I like the way it looked. This turned out pretty cute. Keeping this pretty simple on this side as well. All right, so we've got one more page. And I've got a few little fussy cut items here. So I'm kind of looking at all of them. Let's see what we got. Okay. How should we address this page? Hello, Paige. How are you? You're blank. It's time to do the raffle. Have you joined the raffle? Let me get a drink. I'm thirsty. Yeah, feel free to ask questions. Yeah, the bobbin thingies. Yeah, I agree. They look good with something on them. I agree. Ribbon, lace, fibers, whatever you want to put on there. Looks like we got a boss fight. <laughs> you like that, Margie? <laughs> oh, dear. All right, raffle. Everybody into the raffle. Thank you, Mariana, for your donation. Hello, hello, hello. This is the first time I have decorated them before I put in the journal. I have a ton of tutorials where I decorate the whole page and then it becomes a journal page in my journal. So you need to go back and see some of my videos. You saw my scrapbook paper one, Julie, I, because you, didn't you create one with it? I can't remember. Did you post? When did you? Am I getting the wrong, Julie? All right, so we've got this. I've got all these little fussy cut pieces up here. So I think what I need to do, this is a tuck spot. Oh, thank you, Nan Wooliver. Thank you. And I think it needs a little bit more behind it because I've got some journal pages left or cards. I think that might kind of look neat. I got a little piece of fabric here. I think we need a couple of tabs maybe make this a tuck spot in the corner down here I'm kind of looking at that to see I have a piece of scrapbook paper here that's just a scrap let's see what this looks like kind of frame it so I'm gonna put some just I'm gonna put some pink distressed ink on this piece and make this a corner tuck spot I'm just going to cut it out. Cut it out, man. Cut it out. <laughs> I know. I'm silly. I can't help it. Okay. I think that'll look really cute. Now we got this piece. We may use that. All right. So I want my pink distress on side. And I need, where's my pink dauber? Where is it? What'd you do with it? I started buying more of these handles. Okay, what did I just do with the other is? Ah, oh, thank you, Janice, for your donation. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I've started buying more of these blending doodads. Someone said the other day that these were expensive. They're $4.99 for 10 of them, I think. Yeah, 10. And you get the handle. If you will also grab some Velcro, which I need to do this to this one. This is the uh, hook side on the dauber and the loop side is on this side. 
So if you get some of these self-adhesive little um, Velcro dots, and then you can put that on the back side of your distress pad, then when you take this off, you can stick it. Did I not get the right one? <laughs> I grabbed the wrong one. I need the hook side, not the loop side. <laughs> Dork! All right. I need the hook side. I thought I was grabbing the hook side. There we go. All right. So now if I put this on here, it's sticking to my fingers. And then I could put that on there and the dauber stays with it. See? Okay, it's time for the raffle. Are y'all in? <laughs> uh, okay. Raffle. I got distracted. Squirrel. <laughs> All right. I've got another set of those damask bags. Do you want me to do another raffle with those? Let me know. All right. The winner this time around is... Kathy Gustafson, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm butchering your name, and I'm sorry, Kathy. Please forgive me, Kathy G. <laughs> oh, Sandra Lewis, uh, thank you for your donation of two ninety nine. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, do y'all want me to do another one? <laughs> uh, you like that? Yay! You like that, Margie? It's so easy. And then the little pads, this size. They fit right in the back, so I put them um, so you can, if you pick up your ink pad and you're like, oh yeah, that matches, and you just peel that off and stick it. So I use these over and over and over until they're gone. All right. Congratulations, Kathy. You want me to do another one? Okay, I'll do another one. <laughs> All right, so we're going to open the giveaway to allow entries again, and we're going to give away some more of the damask bags. I got another set. So this is the raffle. Enter the raffle. Enter the raffle. Thank you, Christy, for your donation. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> All right, that goes here. This goes here. Guff Stefferson. It's simple. Guff Stefferson. <laughs> Guff Stefferson. <laughs> See, I can't get it out. Tongue pie. And I apologize. Please forgive me. Okay. We've got distress oxide. I've got this little card, so I'm really going to juice up my pad, because it's a brand new one, and go over the edge. I think I may want to try to get, because I'm sure they have it, a black or another dark color of this Distress Oxide. Because I think that chalkiness would look kind of cool. I wonder. I know I got a bunch of colors. Let me see if one of them is close. We have hickory smoke and gathered twigs. Well, let's, let's try that. Let's see. Probably the gathered twigs because the other would be more... Um, gray in color, right? Let's get the hook side this time, Linda. I'm just going to cut it. Well, I can use the whole thing. It'll work. All right. I'm going to go ahead and put this on there so I have it. Pick this up. Kind of get a little bit on here. I'm glad I bought the reinkers. That one doesn't seem as juicy. Okay, now this time I'm going to be really close to the edge. It's a different look with that brown. Because the Distress Ink, when I did it, it didn't stand up very well on top. But now you can see that. Okay. The chalky, yeah, just tell me what colors you want, Robin, and I'll add them. The, the chalkboard paints. This is an old one. But it's a, the chalkboard paint. That's a really old one. Yeah, I'll put them in there. Just tell me what colors you want. You know the drill. Send me a list of what colors you want. I haven't had time since I got my order 
my Tattered Angels orders on Friday. I haven't had time to sit down and go into the computer and add them. I've got new colors coming. I like that. What do you think? All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a pocket in a pocket. So I'm going to glue down this part. You could also sew it. You could sew across the top off the page, put it down, and then sew the other three sides to make a pocket. I've done that many times. And I'm going to glue that right on top. And I know it's probably supposed to go this way, but I think it looks pretty like it's laying on the table. I think that would be something that would go in that corner, right? And I have, you know, that could be a really wide belly band on that page. And then we've kind of brought the color in the journal in another spot. Oh, blend the red part as well. I got gotcha. you. You like the brown, Julie? Thank you. Yeah, we can do that. Hey, in fact, if I have some colors, Robin, I may send some in your box um, that I'm sending you, by the way. Wink, wink. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm going to be sending you a subscription box, Robin, just so you know. If there's stuff you want in it, let me know. i got to get you a coupon code, too. I just remembered that. Okay, so we've got this. See, now I've got these journal cards that we can use. And I think that's going to go on this side. Yeah? Like that? And this is going to go here. So we can put something up here. Let's put the word journal up there. Let's see if I got it straight. Let's do that. Journal. And then I saw a fussy cut item. Do we want that one or do we want the pink? I think I want the blue or maybe this one. I think that one. Okay, there we are. We've got a, we've got a plan. We've got a plan. All right, I'm going to go ahead and glue this down, but I'm going to distress it first. Distress it! Oh, thank you, Carrie Ann. Yay! Congratulations on your junk box. Um, I'll do my best to get them to you today or tomorrow. <laughs> I'm behind on that. <laughs> Alrighty. We're going to put this here and here. Remember that all the so artsy items, the add-on items, the mini journal, the printed journal kit, the planner kit, those are all a la carte. So if you don't want or can't afford the subscription box, but you want some of this kit in either digital form or physical printed form, those are in my shop. I changed it. When I first started doing the subscription box, you had to buy the subscription in order to buy the add-on items. And I thought, well, no, that let's just go ahead and do it this other way. So you're getting a significant discount on the subscription box. So that's your incentive to get the subscription box. And then if you buy the add-on items, you save because you're not paying additional shipping because I do it all at once. And I try to refund the shipping. If you ended up like some of the people overseas, if they order two separate orders, well, it charges them two separate shipping charges. Or like a couple of my favorite gals that order two to three times during the month before it's time to ship out. Well, I'll refund the difference. So if it only costs, you know, $9.99, then I'll refund the difference. <clears throat> yes, I do have the Peacock kits left. Royal Peacock. I do have some of those left. And this week, I will also have a separate listing for what is left of the punked out steam kits. I sold out of all the tattered angels. Uh, you know what, Marge? I'm not sure if the coupon will work. <laughs> 
I don't remember. I know it won't work on the subscription box because you already get a discount. I think it will work on the other stuff. It won't work on the t-shirts and it won't work on the subscription box. I think it works on the other stuff. As long as you order $10 or more. All right, so we've got that started. Let's glue that one down. And I think this is going to be a place for a journal card behind. Let's let's put yellow. Do we want it to where it's sticking out? Or do we want to put it the proper way, which is this way? It's hidden. I think I'm going to do something else. I think I want a separate belly band to go across the top here. And how much time? It's 5 o'clock. This is going to go together a lot faster than I thought it would because I've already decorated all, almost all the pages. <laughs> oh, I've got this piece of uh, lace. It's really pale, though, on there. I'm kind of just looking around at scraps of paper I have laying here. Um, I know what we could do. Do I have something here? No, I don't have any more. Oh, no, that's too. I want a second belly band on here. Do, 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 Oh, you ordered the printed kit? Awesome! No, they come as physical printed too, Carrie Ann. You can get the add-ons printed or digital. They're both. If you buy the subscription box, you get the digital for $10.99. If you don't have the subscription box, then the digital is $14.99. Yeah, Carrie Ann, if you want me to change that, just send me a message on my website and I'll go in and change your subscription. Okay, so what I'm doing is I took a book page and I'm folding it in on itself here. Okay? And that's going to be an additional belly band on this page. But I want to do something to it a little bit more. I've got a piece of fabric here. Let's see what we can do. What other kind of fabric bits? I have more fabric bits here. I know I do. I know I do. Where did you go, little fabric bits? Well, let's see. I want a different piece. Let dig, dig in my fabric. What do we have? Well, that's kind of neat. Let's look at that. Okay. All right, so I think what I'm going to do first is I'm going to trim this to be the same height as my journal page. So I'm not attaching more than necessary. Okay. Correct. If you signed up last month, as long as your payment goes through, you will get one this month or uh, August. I think I'm trying to decide if I want to wrap it or just trim it to fit. I'm going to trim it to fit. It's just a scrap that I had in my, where my other scissors are there. From when someone else made a quilt and then they gave me a whole bunch of scraps. It's kind of fun to have all these scraps. Okay, I'm going to lay this this way. So I'm just trimming this piece to be the same width as the paper. So yeah, I'm creating another scrap, but I can use it somewhere, right? 
and oh I didn't get it all I need a new blade in my cutter I haven't spent the money on them I used to have them sharpened okay I like that so won't that once it has stitching on it look cute on top of there and then when we go to put our journal card here you can see it and you can put a bigger one behind all right so let's sew this together <laughs> I'm going to put a little bit of glue in here. Oh, so you ha you do not have a printer. I really like, uh, for my home printing, I print my kits that I've been doing with y'all that are like Norella's kits, or if I need additional pages of mine on my home printer. And I've got that little Hewlett Packard with the Insta ink, and I'm really glad I got that. All right, on the 12th, happy birthday, August 12th, ah, another Leo. Okay, we're going to sewing cam. That's awesome. Happy birthday coming up. Mine's August the 17th. So I'm just doing a zigzag stitch all the way around. I know it's August already. Yay! I have a bobbin ready. I usually don't. I must have wound three bobbins that time. <laughs> Do y'all know that when you're putting your bobbin in your machine, that it is important that you put it in the correct direction, or you can end up with wads of thread underneath your bobbin foot? your pressure foot yes it is important so look it up on your sewing machine if you ever have a problem which direction it's supposed to go sewing just sewing away I'm going to decorate these journal cards and then we can put the journal together. I'll count my pages. See, isn't that cute? This simple. And it's again another way to push up some fabric bits. So I'm going to go ahead and, and glue this down. You got the downline done. Yay! Put the bobbin in correctly. That's exactly right. Yeah, I'm not looking forward to winter either. It's going to be cold. I just know it. <laughs> bobbin replacement live. You got it. <laughs> All right, we're going to put this right on top. Oh, and I just saw this something I want to use. I'll be right back. Where is it? My uh, friend of Dust Fairies sent me some sorry silk items, and I thought that would be really pretty. Just put in here. Just again, it's a little bit eclectic. It's whatever style you like. I think it all blends really well. And I'll be showing you more of the journal pages in the larger kit next Monday. I'll trim that just a little. I like it. All right, so this one's going to go here. So let's make a bigger journal card to go in the back. And I think... All right, that's too tall. So I'm going to trim it down just a little bit. Trim it! Oh yeah, it's like eight inches tall. And I think it's five and a half inches wide. It's just some scraps I had. So yeah, I'm gonna make it five inches. 
Okay. And I haven't even used everything that comes in the kit. I'm trying to use a lot of it. <laughs> All right. So let's make this a journal card that goes in here. <laughs> do we want to spray it with tattered angels? Let's do that. I want to use a different stencil. We've used the same stencil so many times. I'm going to grab... Uh, Oh yeah, my new ah, avalanche. This is my um, arrows. I couldn't remember what it was called. Arrows stencil. So we'll put that in here. Let's put that going this way. And the color of that page. Oh, funny, I'm using the same arrow stencil because it matches the page. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, spray it with the Artsy Cherry. And we're going to add a little bit of the um, Artsy Patina. And things are trying to fall down. Let's mop it up. Mop it up, mop it up. A page for next time. That's kind of cool. It kind of looks like hound's tooth, maybe. And then look at this journal page that it created. So when you fold this in half, you'll have this space. So you're getting two for one, people. <laughs> Robin, that's hilarious. Uh, yeah, don't let them bother you, Carrie Ann. It's Linda time. <laughs> All right, so let's add some distress ink to the edges. Got a mess going on here. cute huh let's see what we can do maybe that go on there you won't see it until you pull it out but we can also do the shabby stitches at the top so let's do I changed my mind I want to do the word journal at the very top Okay, then I'm going to do the shabby stitches underneath it, okay, and then I have these two little fussy cut flowers, and I think those will be cute on either side there. Yeah, you got to have a big mess. <laughs> it's all part of the process. <laughs> Yeah, if your pet's in your lap if in the winter time, it's not good. It keeps you warm. In the summertime, you're like, oh, get off of me. You, you're like 100 bazillion degrees. <laughs> yeah, your spring, autumn, are spring, spring short. Ours are too. Thank you, Christy, for your donation. Thank you, thank you. Do I want that on there? Or would this one be cuter? Maybe that'll be cuter. Oh, and we'll do this. We'll kind of mm, little stitches behind the thimble, like so. All righty. So then, if I put this, which I think is funny that I. Use the same card, and then we need a card for over here. So let's use this one that's got the blue. And maybe what we'll do is we'll put that guy on there. Or do we repeat this pattern? Let's do that. Hey, 
having fun all righty so how are we doing everybody i think we've reached the goal for the journal raffle at the end and that means that from now on if you give a dollar you can get in on the uh, raffle i'm trying to decide hmm yeah we'll just do it like that and down like that ah there we go that's what it needed it needed a little touch <laughs> just a little bit so let's do that on this guy so that adds just a little bit to it that goes in there and we haven't even decorated this side yet y'all we're getting there though all right so I didn't use those. Maybe we'll put them someplace else. All right, what do we want over here? I haven't used some of the bigger stamps. I like this one's got a little collage of all kinds of sewing ideas and designs. So I think since this is a little bit lighter and it's pretty smooth, I'm going to stamp on this side. So I kind of get it off the page just a little bit. Oh yeah, see, and it just kind of adds just a little design there. Okay. And let's um I like the scissors a lot. Let's do the scissors. Let's do the scissors up here at the top. That's kind of cute, yeah? And then I've got, I've got the pattern. So let's do it on the side over here. And I'm gonna repeat it. So it's kind of going down the side, okay? And we need something looking at it for a moment if we end up using these guys oh I know what I need where are they I've got these little words that are from Norella at Calico Collage and I think those might be kind of neat and we need to add some color to them so I'm gonna grab the distress oxide in that mermaid and I'm going to go over those edges and up just a little bit on it. And that kind of adds a little more color to the page. I think we'll put that down there. We think. Yeah, I think st stamps really do dress up a journal page. I agree with you, Robin. I agree. We're good, Lori. How are you? Welcome, welcome today. Put that up there. And we'll put this guy down here. I'm going to make it a little tuck spot. Because I've got another fussy cut item here. And I think... Doing that would be kind of cute on that page. It's got the dress form of a, pa a pattern in the background, dress pattern in the background. So what I'm gonna do is take the pattern stamp and stamp it on here. I'll stamp it again, okay? And then I'm gonna use some Distress Ink now, see, it doesn't really show up. I need to re-ink my ink pad. I think I want the pink because the pink would stand out on this page. What did I do with it? Oh, there it is. I thought I put it up. <laughs> no, Linda, you didn't put it up. Over. I need to get a few more of these handles. 
I find that I'm constantly changing colors. Oh yeah, that's better. I like that pink coming in off the sides. And I should have used a different thingy so I could use the brown again on the edge. All right. All right. Okay, Julie, I think you asked. Okay, let me go. Where is it? I just saw a message from you. My cover I made with the lace on the spine. How do you sew the journal together through the lace? I just go right through the lace, Julie. As if it was fabric or something else. I, I sewed through it. If I did a pamphlet stitch, it just went right through it. And you don't really see the stitches that much. Another thing you could do is you could do a hidden spine and you sew your signatures to another piece of paper and you and it's basically thick cardstock with Tyvex on the back of it and then you glue that into your spine and you won't have any stitches on the front. Does that make sense? That's how you can do it, Julie, is glue, stitch them to another piece of paper and glue it on the inside. So basically, let me get a piece of paper. All right, so you've got your stack of signatures, right? You're going to take your first signature onto a piece of, let me get a piece that I can work with. So let's pretend that your spine is an inch and a half and you need a little gap on either side. So you're going to go on to a piece of paper that's going to be scored like this. Okay. You're going to mark your holes for all your signatures like I do on my template. So let's get my template. So we would mark all these holes, how many signatures you're going to put, and you will sew it to this piece here. Then you take this piece, open up your cover, and you glue it down. And that's how you do a hidden spine. Okay? All right, time to do the raffle. And you can do colored thread, Julie, exactly. All right, if you haven't already, join the raffle. Okay, what else, yay. All right, does that answer your question? I need to clean my hands because I did that distress oxide. All right. Raffle! Sounds good, Julie? Okay, good. Where'd my journal card go? Here it is. I'm going to put that. I got to make sure it's not upside down. Okay, there it is. On here. All right, it's time to do the raffle. Join the raffle! So we'll put that. I'm gonna put, yeah, I'm gonna put it on this side because I want to be able to see the number four. And we've repeated the pattern here and the pattern there. Okay. Yep. The next raffle is going to be for the journals. We'll start that here in just a couple minutes until we're at the end of our stream. Okay. So I've got a couple of extra thingies here that. If we go through the journal as we put it together, we can see if we need to add some stuff, okay? So, I'm going to move my scissors. All right, everybody join the raffle. It's time for me to draw. Robin's going to say squirrel. All right, put that over here. I'm getting all my journal pages over here. Okay. I'm wearing a somewhat new shirt. It's the, uh, it's a junk journal type of thing. It's in my shop. Oh, great. That grandma slip lace stamp would be awesome in this kit. I'll have to see which one that is. All 
Oh, are you talking about the the uh, this the lace duo? Grandma slip is what y'all called it. <laughs> They're true to size, Mariana. I'm wearing a large. I'm wearing a large. And I weigh 200 pounds. So. But I've also lost a bunch of weight. So I'm thinner up top than I am on the bottom. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, it would add a lot more texture. I would I'd agree with that. Okay, we're ready for the raffle? That's the, the lace duo. Alright, let's do the giveaway. All right, pick a winner. Giovanna, you won the other uh, Damask bags. Giovanna, you won. Woohoo! Congratulations. All right, so here's what's going to happen next. We're going to do the raffle of the journal. And only those who have donated are eligible to participate. So I want you to uh, know that if you enter and you did not donate, then you will not be eligible to win the journal. Do we want that for the center? I think we want that for the center. Yeah, I like this one. That's going to be the center. Okay. Nope, he didn't ignore you, Giovanna. You won. Woo -woo! Congratulations. Yeah, the sunflower shirt is adorable, Christy. I love that shirt. I wear it a lot. All right, so the following people have donated today. Christy Clover, Tina A., Christy, which is uh, Christy Johnson, and Sandra L., and Janice Brammer, and Nan Wolliver, Mariana, and Margie of Felique Feline Family, the For the Love of Paper and Ink, Candia, Jen B., Polly, Barbara Favre, Lori Merchant, Barbara Oliver, Barb Dingwell, Christy again, Sherry Deskins, and Carrie Ann. So all of these people have donated today, and I want to thank you. I really do appreciate your donations. It helps keep me being able to buy the supplies to make the journal. It helps pay for my internet. So any dollar amount that you give is greatly appreciated. I really do appreciate it. And, and I want you to make sure that each of you knows, if you haven't already, get your... Uh, user account made on my website. If you haven't already messaged me with your YouTube username and the email address you use to create the user account so I can get you uh, entered to the YouTube membership on my website, which gives you the free digital downloads that I offer as well as a discount on products that you may purchase in the future. And then of course, you're now gonna have a moment to be able to enter the raffle when I get it started. Looks like we got a boss fight going. <laughs> All right, so boss. All right, so let's go to the giveaway. I'm going to first do the uh, mini, mini Sue Artsy. That's going to be first, and then we'll do the uh, large journal. So go ahead. If you've donated, now's the time to enter. All right, so I thought I had more pages. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. Okay, I got ten pages. I wasn't sure. So I'm kind of looking at this, trying to decide which way I want it to go. And I think what I want is when you open it, you're going to have pretty much a blank page. Or do I want something colorful on that front page? Let's look at these really fast to see if there's one that kind of stands out. And I think I like this one. So maybe... On that first time, it will be this page. I like the variations from each side, and that looks cool. Let's change the order here. Okay, then we're gonna do one of the printed pages that comes with the kit. Then this is a digital download, so if you were a donator today, you can get this kit, or yeah, set. It's a uh, five images, five download items. Oh, I like this. It's so busy. <laughs> All right. And then I think, I think I want to put this page in here. I've got one extra page. Yeah, that's what I want. And then we're going to put this page. Wait, how did I get out of order? 
I don't want those sides right next to each other. Hmm. Okay. I'm changing my mind. I almost feel like we need to put some blank pages in here. <laughs> okay, there we go. This works. I love the way this page turned out. Oh, look. And it's going to match across the pages. It just happens that way. I could fold it the other direction. And then that's going to be the dead center. Now, yeah? you like it? Okay. Pulls Julie out of the stuck place. Don't be stuck. How do you feel stuck? I've been, if you're talking about weight loss, um, I work out, period. You have to move. You have to figure out what you physically can do and move, especially if you sit a lot because we love to craft. We sit on our derrieres and it's not good for us. We need to get up. We need to move around. And I highly, highly recommend that you find an exercise that works for you and do them and add some challenging things into it, you know, um, because movement is important so that we can live longer and be able to do more. You know, I, I don't want to be a 60 year old woman that can't get out of her chair and go for a walk because I just physically, you know, uh, have worn out my body. That's what I think. Yeah, it's going to be very fluffy. Very, very fluffy. You, you've been moving, so you've got only half a dead butt. Yeah, you have to move it. And Julie, if it hurts when you walk, you might want to do yoga. You might want to go swimming. Find a swimming pool that you can visit. And that was what was told to me. If walking is, you know, doing sec some exercises are hard on your knees or your joints, then do check out a swimming pool. Yeah, you got to, Mariana. Don't don't just say you're going to do it today. Do those exercises if your doctor told you any. Go on YouTube here. Do a search and find out what exercises to do for your sciatica. It's important. It's really important. I, if, if someone had told me when I was in my 20s how important it was to move, really explain to me that you won't be able to do things because you didn't get up and move around. I would have been, okay, I, I got to remember to keep doing that. Yeah, water aerobics are awesome. I love water aerobics. I did belong to a gym that offered water aerobics or water Zumba. And it was a blast. But their fees were so expensive to that gym, I quit going there. We got rid of it. It was $100 a month. So I couldn't quite afford it. I'm looking for another place that I can go. All right, so I just punched three holes through the journal pages. And we're going to put this in here. Did everybody watch the um, video of the flip through of the kit? I hope so. If not, check it out after this. Yoga is awesome. Yeah. I don't you know, jog or run either. It, it's just too hard. I'd love to have a recumbent bicycle. You know, the one that you sit down in, kind of, kind of like you're in a chair instead of the banana seat, because I don't like the banana seat. Um, and I think that would be a lot of fun for me, because I like to bicycle. Oh, yeah, the elliptical. That's awesome. You know, if you put it in front of a television and you just hop on it and watch TV while you're on the elliptical. That's what I need to do. I've got a cheap elliptical. I mean, like cheap, like under $100 cheap. I need to bring it into the living room, and instead of sitting on the sofa and watching television, I need to do that while we watch TV. If Henry hears me say this, he's going to bring it into the house. I just know it. <laughs> uh, thank you, Giovanna. Thank you for watching. You did, Carrie Ann. I love this kit, y'all. I'm going to have a lot of fun using it, and I have a feeling this is going to be a kit that people are going to come back 
and order reorder the printed kit. So I may have to start carrying this as a regular because I just love it. Oh, thank you, Christy. Yay, third time's a charm. You might win today. Today may be the day. All right, so I think I've found the journal. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to raffle off the mini journals, okay? And then I will flip through the big journal. And as I'm flipping through the big journal, adding anything that it may need. It is a fluffy journal. Um, I've got this. Is this big enough? No, not quite. But I got a bigger piece of lace. Um, we'll go through this and see if there's anything we need to add. And then we'll do the last one. So if you haven't already, if you made a donation, go ahead and uh, enter the raffle. Okay. Enter the raffle. Okay. And if you haven't donated and want to, you can. I'm going to give it about uh, give it another minute, okay? I'm going to tie this off. And if we see that we need something else in the journal or I need to make something else, we'll do that, okay? I picked up the wrong scissors. Those don't cut fabric. They cut paper. These cut fabric. <clears throat> okay. Alrighty. You love the colors? I do too. I just love them. And, and I haven't even decorated them. I mean, you can do anything you want on top of there. Alright, so here's the two minis. I'm going to flip through the first one. And when I say, call the winner out here in just a minute for the mini, tell me which one you want. And then I'll draw for the next one, okay? Okay, Mariana, I hope it goes well for you. Alright, so here's the first one, the little sewing machine. I love how I, I accidentally picked that page and it matches, so it just kind of bleeds over the page. I think it's kind of cool. Oh, I need to change that. Junkie Joe's talking about punked out steam. Hey, Robin, write me a note. Change Junkie Joe's prompt for punked out steam. <laughs> So I'll remember to do it. I, I love that the so scissors happened on both sides. Yep, you have to move, Mariana. You know, even when you're watching videos, if you can, stand up while you watch them. I do in here. If I'm not having to really sit with something and do it my sewing machine, I'll stand up. I love it. You like the, the, the little minis? <laughs> Thank you, Robin. <laughs> I think the minis, I think they've been overlooked. People haven't been ordering them. They may think it's rather costly for the size, but they're just super cute to already have it cut the size it needs to be with the two-sided pages. And I just use two pages and one cover for this journal. And then I use my mop-up pages. And I just love how this happened. It was just accidental that this page matches the page opposite. Isn't that funny how that works out sometimes? And then that matches. Okay. So that's the sewing machine one. And then this has got the dress form. And I just kind of repeat it. I've got a tutorial that will show tomorrow. So y'all are getting a sneak peek. You've endured. So you get to see a sneak peek. You love the minis, Margie? Now if you buy a digital download, you can make the minis. Just set your printer to print the pages as five by seven pages and it'll reduce it for you. If you do like Windows print, you just gotta remember how to um, do two-sided on your printer if you want them two-sided. I always mess it up the first time I do it. All right, so that's the two minis. So now I'm gonna pick the first winner, are you ready? You put a ton of pockets and minis and hidden pockets for shopping lists and notes. That's awesome, uh, Robin. That's a great way to do that. This would be a good one, I think, if I were fabric shopping <clears throat> and I wanted to write down, you know, what size fabric I needed or, you know, when I go to Quilt Guild, you know, so-and-so prayer request or whatever, you know, there's enough blank spaces because I use plain papers with the printed to write little notes. Okay. 
Can't print, Margie. Aw. Yeah, tuck into the large ones. Exactly. Exactly. All right, let's pick the winner of the first uh, raffle. And that winner is... Christy Clover, two for today. You got Jump Box and one of the minis. Let me know which mini that you want. I'm going to get a drink of water, and then I'm going to start the uh, raffle again. All right, so allow entries. So, Christy, tell me which one you want. And if you didn't enter the raffle, you got a moment to do so. I'm going to get a drink. I need some water, too. And I have time that I could decorate another journal page to use maybe next week. All right, so let me see what Christy said. What? Which one did Christy want? Christy, are you still here? The mini on the right. My right or your right? The one with the sewing machine or the other one? Say, not sewing machine. Or sewing machine. <laughs> yeah, it, is, it, it does. If you set and you don't do anything, it affects your um, stability in your chest your hips, your diaphragm, your knees. I mean, it's the whole body because it's not doing what it needs to do. Yeah, I got exactly. All right, she said the one on the right. Okay, sewing machine. Look, see, this is my left. <laughs> All right, so Christy got the sewing machine one, and I'm going to pick the next winner. All right. <clears throat> We're going to pick the next winner in just a moment. What I'm going to do is I'm going to decorate this page just for grins to kind of fill some time. Got it. Thank you, Robin. <laughs> Polly Lella Wills, that be. All right, so you have time. If you want to enter to win this mini, just make a donation of any dollar amount. Let's just decorate this, and then I'll have it ready for next week. I think next week I am going to make a three signature journal because I want to uh, make a big journal cover and decorate it and do some fun stuff. Uh, what else? So I'll have some more tutorials coming out because I'm going to try to do a few tutorials here and there as I put that journal beginnings of it together. Did you like the way I did today's uh, stream? Did it seem like I was giving you a lot throughout the stream, but at the same time we didn't seem to spend hours doing the same thing, if that makes any sense? I don't know. I don't know what you would rather see. If you like when I do the stamping and if you like when I do the um, uh, what you call it, the tattered angel sprays. Okay. Yeah, you you don't have to re-enter, but you will have to re-enter on the last one. So I'm gonna do the boss fight with y'all. Alrighty. Okay, so I just kind of stamped that. That's kind of cute, isn't it? I didn't spray the backside, so let's spray that. I won't use. Maybe I will. Hey, Eric, how are you, man? You doing all right? Thank you for being here. I think I'm gonna do this. I think. Yeah, we're just gonna use the. Um, Art, so artsy color. It's kind of a blue. I'm just adding a little bit. Yay! I'm glad, Robin. I have a brother sewing machine. You like it when I make pages? Okay, cool, Sherry. I'm glad. 
Okay, well then, that's, I'll do more of that, where I basically, I, I may stop and make a, um, let's see, I like that page, um, a journal card or something, but for the most part, I'll have everything ready to go, so I'm not stopping to spend that much time to uh, create something, and then that's what it looks like on this side. I think I'm going to do the uh, pattern again down the edge. You're very welcome, Christy. Aw, thank you. We have a lot of fun at the last... Well, you know, please do share on your social media how much fun you have on my live streams. Please, um, you know, just say, yes, they are long, but she tries to pack in a ton of stuff and give you inspiration. And I give away prizes. <laughs> How you doing, Eric? Eric, I don't think you've sent me a message. When I supposed to do something for you? You were thinking about the uh, Tattered Angels as an add-on. I don't. I didn't recognize your name in my shop. Uh, the brand of sewing machine I have is a brother. It is called a Simplicity SB3129. Sim it's a brother Simplicity SB3129. I do not see them for sale anywhere. I think it's old enough now that they don't have that model. But I will say, if you're going to buy a new sewing machine, I really like the thread cutting feature and the auto thread feature that this machine has. It does cost more. This is a $600 machine that I got for $400. So I got it on sale. It's lasted me so far since 2000 and I think I got it 2011. So it's an older machine. And I feel like I got my money's worth out of it. It's a good machine. I've not had any issues with it. And it's got a metal um, hot, uh, shaft in it. It doesn't plastic inside. The casing is plastic, but the inside is not. And it had a 25-year um, warranty on the uh, motor and stuff. <clears throat> yep, you have six half-brothers. You have three brothers. Exactly, Margie. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's, uh, thank you, you're very welcome. Okay, you, you still have to use your legal name there. Okay, perfect, that's why I didn't see it. <laughs> that makes sense, okay, that's why I was like, I couldn't figure out who you were. So yeah, send me a message on my website if you haven't already, please do so. All right. Our next winner of the mini journal is, are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Let me make sure. Y'all ready? Yeah, Junkie Joe's, that's where you contact me if you win a prize or you donated. Okay, pick a winner. Barb Dingwell. Yay, Barb. Congratulations. You won. Yay. You get the other mini. Barb, congratulations. All right, so I think I've decorated this a little bit. It doesn't have to be all decorated up right now, but it's a good start. I've got this. Oh, and I've got uh, this little piece. Let's do that. All right. <clears throat> Yay, congratulations. Whoop, whoop. Yeah, it was probably a great machine, Barb. I made sure that when I bought this machine that it was the one with the metal shaft in it because I've had one of the, a plastic-driven machine and it broke. So it has the uh, plastic bobbin, but the bobbin housing is metal, and a lot of my other ones were plastic. All right, we're going to reset I, you will have to re-enter the raffle for the Sue Artsy Journal. 
um, because I wanted to make it fair. I think Junkie Joe does something weird, and if you won one of the other raffles, then you won't win the last raffle sometimes, if I'm still in it. I don't know. That may not be confusing. All right, let's see. I think I'm going to put that right here. So go ahead and enter the raffle, those of you that donated. Craft City, Crafty Angels, hey Vanessa, hey everybody, if I don't say hi to you directly, I apologize, I don't always see the chat, and I don't want to be sitting here like with my mouth open reading the chat, <laughs> and not responding to y'all, <laughs> I had, I had people got mad at me and left me messages that, why did I even bother to have the camera within camera, the picture within picture, if I wasn't going to look at the camera? And I'm like, I look at the camera. I have to look down, too. <laughs> oh, dear. I have lots of brothers. <clears throat> My mother had five children. I was the only girl. So my mother had four boys and one girl. And that's just that side of the family. I think I'm going to go ahead and put this over here. Oh, and let's do the dress form again. While I'm waiting on y'all to enter the raffle. Yes, let's do this. Let's do it. Dun, 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 dun. All right, I want this one. So get rid of the blue oh I haven't put a velcro thingy on there yet yeah I can't see you <laughs> yeah they don't some people don't you know I'm like it's it's handy oh a Heska Varner yeah with a metal chef I bet I bet it's an awesome uh, machine Julie okay I'm making sure that when I turn this over that I put this on this side in the same direction as I did on the other side just in case the person that has asked me to send her these pages that I do this stuff on likes this idea I kind of like it it's funny so I'm just gonna do it there and then I'm gonna move over and do it again because well it's it takes a couple of coats sometimes And I like the silhouettes that comes up. And then I think I'm going to move it up here. No, let's put it right about there. Yeah. And then let's get the um, Artsy Cherry. And we're going to spray that on top. So it's going to react a little bit. It'll also make that Tattered Angel, the, gosh, I can't say it, the um, <clears throat> Distress Ink, man. Three brothers and one singer. I mean sister. <laughs> All right, so I think I'm going to go ahead and take the brown. I didn't do it on the teal one earlier, and I think I like that. It's going to be hard to get in down here, but I got it. Just kind of you take your time. You can get it. You can also take a marker and go around the edge. And use the distress ink. So now, now we've kind of got another page going. That's just kind of odd. I bet. I think it would make a fun page, wouldn't that? Right there in your journal. So we made two pages. I got a page I can use. All right, set this over here. All right, I'm gonna glue this down. We're gonna flip through the journal, and uh, we'll do the last raffle, y'all. Thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate you watching your thumbs up, your sharing of the journal. I like it. Okay, I'm going to do one more thing. Where is it? Oh, it's in here. 
I've got this stamp and I'm just going to kind of kiss it to the top. So it gives just a little bit of texture, not a lot. I'm going to do it one more time because it didn't quite get exactly where I wanted. There we go. Now I got a little more design. Just a little bit of texture on there. All right. So I got two journal pages right there. Let's go through this really fast. I went ahead and put a piece of lace around it so whoever gets it can uh, do whatever they like. And then here's our first page. It's fluffy because of the altar paper clips with the uh, fibers on them. Okay. Yeah, a silhouette chipboard print pieces. <laughs> you like the silhouette? Okay. You like that stamp? Isn't that fun? Easy to ignore. <laughs> so this was a journal card that we made. I like that it, you know, stamping that pattern piece on here and then going around it with the pink, it kind of looks like it's a pattern, you know, that you use the actual tissue paper. Isn't that kind of neat? Oops, I did it again. <laughs> and we did this page, our journal card. Do y'all watch my flip through videos? I like that. I need to know. I like the way that this, you know, I'm putting this together, the colors come across. I'm pretty good at picking my colors, I think. Then all of the variety that we got out of this page. That's a tutorial that's coming. And then the sewing, the scissors on that side. The uh, bulky <laughs> altar paper clip. It's got, you know, it's it's pretty thick. Can y'all see how thick that is on there? That it sticks out. It's pretty pretty chunky. That's cool. You like it? Yes, you watch them. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> you watch all my videos. I forgot, Giovanna. I'm just vain. I need to have more people say something to me. Okay, so I've got this altered paper clip. And then I've got this little tag I made. So that's just wrapping the fibers button. And then I put the charm off the fibers. And then I punched a hole. So what if we do something like... Ah, I didn't make it. I'm going to try to loop it onto the paper clip. There we go. And so that's in there. What do you think? Kind of cute, you know, maybe. I don't know. Silly. <clears throat> ah, Sundays are your watching tapes? Just in case Eric does. Okay, okay. Ah. Get in there, raffle. I like the way the chipboard here, you know, and then matching that green. Again, this is a fluffy, fluffy journal. And then the sewing machines on either page, so you get different types. You're, you're excited about the new colors. Yeah, I bet. I'm trying to get them in my shop. That's what I'll be doing tomorrow. It's so working on the shop stuff. I like the scanned page. <clears throat> the cute as a button. That's that corner piece that comes off. So you can journal all over the page and then put the corner piece back on to hold in your tuck spot items. The... Um, fabric on oh, this is one of the corsage pins that comes in the kit that's why I use it that way I just thought that'd be kind of neat hat pin concept is what I was thinking I didn't put anything on here um I was going to do more charms but I only have a limited number of the bobbins and so I don't I don't have enough to do one for my journal because I get exactly a hundred um, maybe I'll figure something else out. Maybe I can find an old bobbin that I had in my stash and can use that. I like the scissors over here and the scissor there. So that's why it's important to kind of duplicate some of that. You kind of, it all comes together and fits together. And the scissor again. So, you know, we had the scissor here and here. We have a scissor there. 
there's a scissor there, there's a scissor there. It's just kind of funny how it all comes together. One stitch at a time, the little pocket within a pocket, and the friendships, golden thread. This is a tuck spot. I should have put it on this side. Um, it can hold something. Well, I'll just put that in there. It may fall out though. You could put, let me see if I've got another piece. I do. What if I did something like that? And that would hold it in place. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put some glue on the bottom. I just saw this piece. I'm going to go ahead and put it in here. And then I'm going to kind of figure out right about there. Okay. Has everybody entered the raffle? <clears throat> Yeah, you're a matchy-matchy person. I kind of am. You know, I'm okay with not having every single thing match. Um, it's okay if it doesn't. But it's kind of fun to bring it back in again. All right, so I'm going to use the pattern piece on here. Let's go. Let's go down this side. Okay. That's kind of different, cool. And then this can go in there. I'm not gonna put it under there yet because that, that glue's still wet and it could shift and glue in there, but I think that'll be cute. What now? What is Bar what does Barbie Barb want? Okay, Barb, yeah, I can do that. That's not a problem. I can hold your your subscription box before I ship it out. So if there's more items that you want, just let me know. Because, yeah, a lot can fit in those boxes. Scissors there, scissors there. It's kind of funny how many pages have scissors on them. And then just adding a little bit of fabric on the page, the little button card, using my cards in here as well. This is a, just a bright page. I like it. And then we've got a pretty flat page here on the back side. This is one of the bridge, uh, digital pages. Okay, Sherry. <laughs> I'll show y'all how to do it. I'll, sh I'll get one of the bobbins then. I know I have some somewhere of the old style, the old metal style. I think they're at our embroidery shop with an old machine that I have up there. Don't overthink it. Journal. I like how busy this looks. I don't know. It's just kind of cool with the layers. And then I like the simplicity of this as well. Let me sign this. Then we're going to pick the winner of this journal. <clears throat> oh, good. I'm glad that she's doing that. Thursday, you know what? Um, I think Thursday may be, uh, a little bit of gel plate and some direct to paper printing where I squish the paint directly to the page, use stencils directly on the page without. Yeah, I did order them in bulk, Lori. I found a place online that sold them. I don't think I got them through. I didn't buy them on Amazon because they didn't have them. I had to do research on the cost of different types of the metal bobbins and I didn't really care what machine it fit. I wanted a certain look. I wanted, let me get it. I wanted the actual one that looks like the old metal bobbin. So I was going for a certain look. Some of them are smooth with a li one little hole on it. And I don't really like those. I could get plastic ones really cheap, but I thought the metals would be really fun to attach with these uh, bulb pins in here and dangle off your journal. But I didn't get it done today, so I'll make one up using some of the goodies, okay? <clears throat> So Thursday will be mixed media. Yeah, Lori, send me a message on my website and I can send you the link to where I bought them. 
What now? Hype. <laughs> it's happening. No, he's not. He's a he's one of my friends. Okay. So, are we ready? Are y'all ready? <laughs> nope, he's not. How many junk bucks do you have now, Eric? No, Eric doesn't live under a bridge. Okay, perfect. Yeah, Lori, message me and I'll send you a link. Okay, perfect. Yeah, I, was, I didn't care what machine it fit, so I just basically bought the least expensive ones that I could get a hundred of. So, it took me a little bit. All right, well, let's pick the winner. Any questions? Y'all have any other questions? I'm going to pick a winner in just a moment. Let's see. Um, oh, yeah, I was going to do something with that. I have so many ideas I want to show you. There's not enough time. <laughs> Eric got in the raffle. How many bucks do you have? Bucks has 311, Eric. Woo, woo. You hit 2,000. Awesome, Lori. Woo, woo. I'm rich. <laughs> oh, dear. Woo, woo. <laughs> That's hilarious. <sighs> okay. Everybody in the raffle? And Christy got in again. Yep, you're getting there. Uh, we have one more minute and 14 seconds and y'all can do another whatever that is, boss fight. You like the lace tie? You know, and you can spray the lace with Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist and change the color. So that's why I only buy for myself anymore white or ivory lace because I know I can make it whatever color and it's too hard for me to try to <laughs> match the colors. <laughs> Drum roll, please. All right, everybody in the raffle now? Yeah, I think so. All right, if I call your name, you need to have donated. If you didn't donate, you cannot be eligible to win. But I think everybody that's in I'm trying to see. Vanessa was the only name I saw that entered the raffle. If you win, you're not eligible unless you make a donation, okay? And you can make a donation after the fact, today only, and only today. All right, anybody else? Bonnie, you didn't donate either. I see two, two names. Okay, giveaway. <laughs> I gotta hit the button. All right, pick a winner. Let me make sure of the names. Yes, I, I know I saw her. Yes, Barbara Oliver, you won. Woo, woo, congratulations. <laughs> we had a boss fight going. Congratulations. Woo, woo. Yay. You're a winner. You're a winner. <laughs> All right, so Thursday will be mixed media. We'll do a little bit of gel printing and some direct-to-paper techniques. Um, it'll still probably be around the sewing theme and the colors that I'm using in the sewing kit. I uh, have some tutorials that'll be coming out. One tomorrow for the mini journal. And then I'll have another one for the um, altered paper clip using the ribbon uh, holder and I'll have another tutorial on a page layout to kind of give you some ideas to try and I'll be making more tutorials this week as well. If you have any questions just feel free to ask after this video even. You can also send me a message on my website. Check out the description box to the links to all of the um, products that I use today as well. Winner, winner. All right, we'll see everybody on Thursday. I'm waiting on my husband to come home, and we'll have some dinner. He got a new vehicle, so we'll probably take a little drive around the neighborhood, <laughs> just for the fun of it. Um, and thank y'all so much for being here. I really appreciate each and every one of you. I appreciate your support, your thumbs up. And sharing of this video, it greatly helps me. Even if you don't purchase anything, even if you don't donate. If you do those things for me, I greatly appreciate it. And tell people how much fun we have, what we do, what it's all about. Because um, I want y'all to be inspired to use some of the things you already have. 
you know, supplement them with tools that uh, make you happy. Okay. All right. Behave until we chat again. <laughs> All right. Oh, yeah. And then uh, don't forget the Use It Up event. Robin just posted a link to that. The description box also has a link. You can take a picture of what you've made. You were inspired because of something I did. It does not have to be with my products. It can be anything that you make into the event to get an entry into the drawing. I'm going to be giving away some really big prizes uh, in August. Just a few more days. <clears throat> Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> thank you, Mariana. You're welcome, Sandra. Thank you. All right, you too, Sherry. You have a great week. Yep, I still have your address, Barbara. Yep, yep. Adios. Hasta luego. <laughs> much love to all of y'all. Bye to everybody. Thank you so much, Barbara. Thank you. Yeah, I'm going to take a break. Got to take a break. Relax a little bit. <clears throat> Give me some more water to drink. All right. Bye, everybody. I want to hit the end button. Y'all have a fabulous day. Lots of love to you. Bye, everybody.